Hi, how are you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. I'm here with a very special guest. It is Robert from Olympia Trust. How are you doing today, Robert? I'm well. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. And how are you enjoying the Lyft conference so far? It's fantastic. I'm just sitting here meeting all these people, everybody, you know, trying to do right, yes. trying to keep this company, their companies, this industry moving forward. Absolutely. So it's good to be here. Now, you said you're there, they're trying to get the, their companies moving forward, and that's exactly what you guys do. You that's help me. companies that are in distress. So can you tell us a little bit about Olympia Trust? Us. You guys are public. Yep. Maybe tell us a little bit about your symbol and what you guys specialize in. Right. So you can find Olympia stock tickers OLY on the TSX. Uh, and essentially, you bring us on, we're going to be your in house facilitator for moving money. Um, you can now partial that out of your business, uh, and your accountant, your CFO, your controller now no longer has to worry about how am I going to get money from one account to the next without getting a slap on the wrist from the bank. So uh, we're a one-stop shop for any and all currencies that need to be moved uh, and all regulation compliance that needs to go along with it. So wow. a solutions provider, you know, for someone who's got their back up against the wall. And do you do this only for Canadian companies? Do you do this for U.S. companies? Because I know that's a big issue for American companies right now. They can't get any funding. So it's actually, uh, we've, we've carved out a nice niche for ourselves. And the way we've been able to do it is if what you're doing is legal where you are, then I'm fine with that. If you're properly licensed, you're not breaking any laws, depending, so for argument's sake, if you're in California, I'm fine doing business with you because what you're doing where you are is legal. And that's how we've managed. To, so if what you're doing, uh, say you're, for argument's sake, here in the UK, and what you're doing is licensed and proper, I can do business with you. So not just Canada, US, pretty much all over the globe, as long as what you're doing is legal. We do handle um, all industries. I myself am cannabis specific. Okay, great. Now this is obviously a cannabis conference. Do you have any clients that are currently here? Yes, okay. uh, in a full house. A full house, wow, so <laughs> yeah. there's quite a few, eh? Yes, yes. Wow, so, so there's a, quite a few companies that are in distress. Well, there's quite a few companies that have uh, seen the light, right, and they saw it coming a mile off and they said, to, you know, let's get ahead of the problem, let's figure out what the solution is. And for the longest time I've been, you know, word of mouth, if you knew me or you knew someone that knew me, you were, you're okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? So for sure. now we're branching out a little bit, getting the word out there. Um, and everybody I think in this room has at one stage or another thought to themselves, you know, I'm about to send, click this button and send this money. Should I be doing this? Do I know enough about this that I can confidently press this button and send these funds? Are they gonna arrive there? Are they gonna, the account's gonna get frozen? Who's gonna call me the next day? Is the wire gonna get rejected and come back? And when it comes back, how's that gonna affect my bank account in Canada? And usually that's all very negative, right? So yeah. that's where we step in, we're the buffer. We make sure that your relationships with your banks do not change at all. We're just another piece of the puzzle that we're going to partial all that risk out for you. Yeah. Now, if somebody has had a problem, is that too late? Do they have to come to you before they have an issue? Or is it okay to come to you, like for someone that's watching, like there could be LPs right now that need your services. If they've already run into a problem, is that too late? Can you fix those problems? Well, I would say if you're out there and you need to move money, um, it wouldn't hurt to even just reach out and ask. If I, if I can help, I will. Uh, and if you are past that point and you have received that phone call or that letter uh, that you're, you're, you're beyond, you know, repeating, you've, you've made a boo-boo, um, give me a call. I can still help. And a lot of what I do is I'm a solutions provider. So when you take us on, you know, I'll eventually you know, we'll be very close. <laughs> I'll be CC'd on everything that you're doing. I'll be, you know, a WhatsApp or a text message or an email away. Uh, and I'll be heavily integrated in everything that you're doing. And we'll figure it out from there as a solutions based. What do you need to do? How do we do it properly? Now, this is a sector that is obviously a hyper growth sector. We've seen massive growth and then massive retraction this year for the entire sector. The entire market cap is down like 60, 70% yeah. this year. What do you think of the future of the cannabis sector? Obviously, you're focused on cannabis. So, do you guys believe that this is going to be a huge industry? Do you think, like Jim Cramer from Mad Money came out and said that it's not what he thought it would be. He's yeah. like, the cannabis sector is not what I thought it would be. I've been sitting back thinking to myself, is this sector what I thought it would be? What do you think about that? Is it what you thought it would be? Is it 
less than what you thought it would be? Or do you think it may be just early and it's going to grow to be something bigger than anyone even imagines? I think it's the latter. I think that uh, no one really knows how big this can be. Uh, I think it should be one of, if not the biggest sectors in, in the economy for every economy. Uh, I think all over the world there's people that enjoy cannabis uh, and you know I think that we're just going through a little growing pains right now right and everybody's gonna come out of this stronger smarter you know before this if you didn't know me and you start doing business with me right away you're stronger you got a line of defense and you know this this contraction is what it takes for you to reach out from you know where you are with your relationship with your bank or who you're doing business with and seek help from others I think that's a good thing you know so let's just say I'm an LP um, I'm a mile away from having some problems I see this video and I'm like yeah I need that what's the process they call you and then what yeah so you're gonna call me uh, and I'm gonna ask you some very pointed questions uh, on where you are in your business cycle uh, how far off you are on your licensing um, and uh, we're gonna go from there uh, and baby steps really if you're that far away uh, from cultivating or or even having your license you know stamp approval with a date on it and an expiry date uh, you know we're still gonna be able to help and and not only you know my wheelhouse is moving money but if you imagine I do know quite a few people that can help in different scenarios as well okay. you know, if you're looking for someone who's uh, a, a lawyer that's been in the position to help with whatever problem you have on your plate, I probably know a guy, right? So I could probably help, you know, in different ways to say, you know, maybe we look down this route or help even in the initial stages to say your shareholder structure needs to change. If you want to have a positive banking relationship in Canada, you want to do business with me, I highly suggest we look at a different share structure, right? And that can help a lot of pitfalls down the road. So yes, please, you know, it's it's worth the the foresight to see down the road and think. Eventually you're gonna have to move money. Now you guys are a public company, you're trading like at a hundred dollars or something like that? <laughs> something uh, crazy? So uh OLY does quite well. It's, yeah, it's I heard extremely uh like the dividend is is fantastic. How much is your dividend? So, because uh, our community loves dividends. Uh, well, look into it. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to comment off the top of my sure, head. I'm not sure. going to take, no, take a swing uh, at it. take a swing at it. We but, love dividend stocks. But check out OAWA. I think you'd be pleased. We're doing a lot of good work. And especially if you're running in this sector and you want to be a part of, say you're a value-based value -based investor and you want to be a part of something that is part of your life, well, then Olympia might be right for you because we're involved in what you love most. If you love sitting back and enjoying a little bit of cannabis and we probably help facilitate that and for an investor that's interested a value investor in your company and in investing in your company what does your company look like at 20 in for 2020 do you have anything big coming anything new and exciting coming uh, for an investor that's interested in investing in your company we got a very well-rounded company right so we're looking you know, rsp division transfer agents you know corporate shareholder services wow. foreign exchange so, and, and you know, really cornering the cannabis market has really put us in a position, um, you know, we're over four years doing this now. When we move, other people move with us, right? Absolutely. So, um, you know, you want to be looking at a company that's making uh, decisions for themselves, not reacting, but, you know, setting the pace. So I think, you know, Olympia, uh, as a stock, we're doing some good stuff. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Robert from Olympia, and keep up the good work. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you.